Okay. Here I got the uh, intake manifold thing that they have here. Took that off. I'm going to replace the gaskets because they're looking pretty bad still. Got the fuel pump here. It's in good condition. It works. Um, it's pretty empty now. I already dumped it out. And here's the carburetor. I'm about to open this up and you guys can see. Let me work on it here. Set it off there where it won't, won't fall over. Okay. Move that up to the side. Now the bowl is still full of fuel, so it'll dump out on the table here. Yeah, I know. Call Al Gore. Dump it off over to the side here. Although it might be empty because it's set for a couple of weeks now. With the fuel turned off. And yep, it's pretty empty in there. But what I need to do here, I need to pull the float stuff off here. And, um, Take the uh, piece here and adjust it so it closes sooner and it don't leak on me. I think I might get away with just using a screwdriver, which I left in the garage. Now here I got one of my smallest screwdrivers that I have. I use it to bend it down, so bending it up shouldn't be too hard with it. Let's see. Yeah, that's too soon, so we'll try and bend it down a little bit. That looks like it will work right there up farther from where it was, so it closes right about there. And then it sticks a little, but it runs, so I'm not too worried. Um, inside of the carburetor is looking pretty good. A little bit of varnish here and so, but you know, nothing too major. Yeah, and then I'm going to get my uh, gasket scraper, and I'm going to scrape all the old gasket off here. So for this one's looking pretty good still. I might keep this one. Oh, no, oh, it's got edge torn off. So, here we have my go get handy that. dandy gasket scraper. It does a really nice job at scraping the gaskets off. lot better than using a knife. I'm going to go and uh, rough the surface up with some very fine sandpaper, you know, just to clean off the rest of it so it gets a good seal with the new gasket material. Take a very fine emery cloth or something like that just to scrape the rest of it off that you can't get off with this very well. And then, uh, you know, get it kind of roughed up so it'll seal. Then on the back here, it's the same deal. It's kind of work it off with this scraper here. Gotta be careful though because 
stuff can get pretty stuck on and it'll jump and get you right in the finger really nice. <laughs> Which does hurt. But I got this pretty well cleaned up here now. I got that adjusted already. Um, that seems pretty nice and clear through there, which is nice. Didn't get dirty on me, although there is a little dirt in the bowl. There's always been dirt in this bowl. So, I will go get my emery cloths, sandpaper, whatever. I'll be right back. Right here is some, uh, I think it's 240 grit, which is a little grittier than what I want. I want a little softer like uh, emery cloth, but this will do. Just got to be real gentle with it. Just cleaning it up. The main thing to do, reason for this, and that is to just kind of clean the rest of it off that you didn't get with the gasket scraper or whatever tool you use. Gasket scraper does a lot better than, say, a knife or a screwdriver because that'll mar up the surface and make uh, the crevices and valleys that you really don't need. And they make it harder to seal, which is what the gasket's intention is to do, is to seal it up. anyways you can probably see here that it's a lot shinier than it was which in essence means it's cleaner although there is gunk around here um, has a better surface to seal on it doesn't have gunk there to stop it and, uh, if there was any pits it was kind of cleaned up there do the same for the other side here. This is the carburetor side, this is the engine side. Now if you can see this, this side is a little more pitted, but the pits aren't deep, and they aren't grooves really that would let the uh, seal not work, but it's still good to, you don't want it perfectly shiny and flat and smooth, you just want it uh, to where it'll seal nice. That's looking pretty good on both sides here, although the rest of it's pretty dirty. Right now I guess we'll start putting it together and 